Imagine a world where words come to life, dancing across the screen, telling stories of their own. In today's video, we are unlocking the magic of text animation presets in Premiere Pro. Join us as we unveil five stunning effects that will transform your videos and captivate your audience. They are pretty easy to create, but the impact that the effect will have will be more greater than the procedure you will use to create those effects. So, without much further to do, let's get started with the video. But first, what are text animation presets? They are pre-designed animations that can be applied to a text in video editing softwares like Premiere Pro. They save time and add a professional touch to your projects. The first effect we'll be creating is known as a dissolve effect. And to create these, I'll first of all go through my setup. So, I have two texts here, first saying animation and the other said presets. Then I have an adjustment layer here. So I'll be adding the effects on an adjustment layer, but you can do this without an adjustment layer. And the duration of my adjustment layer is 10 frames. You can hold the shift key and press either the right or the left arrow key to move 5 frames ahead. So I want the effect to take place at the center. I make sure that my playhead is at the center, hold shift and press the left arrow key once and you see that I will move to the end. Same thing if I position it here and go to the right, making it up 10 frames. To create the dissolved text animation, we are going to be using an effect known as a turbulent displays. Go to the effects panel, then you search turbulent displays and you add it to the adjustment layer. Under the turbulent displays, we are going to be animating the evolution property and the complexity. So I position my play here at the start of the adjustment layer, set in the first key for the complexity. And what I'm going to do is I'll press the right arrow key once to move one frame ahead set in the keyframe and for the second value i'm just going to change it to a random value like let's say nine move ahead again set in a random value and the main idea is you just need to keep moving ahead and giving it some random values and i'm going to do this throughout the adjustment layer and after setting all of these keyframes i'm going to set in the keyframe for the evolution move to the last keyframe and set in another keyframe for the evolution but this time around i'm going to set it one times let's say five and after doing this correctly you have something like this which is pretty cool so at the end of this video i'll show you how you can save this as a preset and how you can reuse this effect over and over in your projects the next animation preset is a mirror effect for this we are just going to be changing the reflection angle of the mirror effect i'll select my adjustment layer go to the effects panel then search mirror and i'm going to add in the mirror effect to the adjustment layer same thing i'm going to move to the start set in the first keyframe for the reflection angle move one frame ahead and for this angle i'm going to set it to 180 degrees move ahead set it to 90 and i'll keep doing this throughout the entire adjustment layer and after adding all the keyframes you have an animation like this one thing you should keep in mind is that the reflection angle should be opposite to the other for the next animation preset it's similar to the dissolved effect and we are going to be using the turbulent displays to achieve this but this time around, we are going to be animating four properties of it. That is the size, the amount, the complexity, and the evolution of the turbulent displays. So in Premiere Pro, I'm going to add in the turbulent displays to my adjustment layer. This uses the same concept and the keyframes at each frame. And the main idea is that you should keep all of these numbers random. So for the amount, I'm just going to start with this 50, move ahead and set in another keyframe, just a random number like 90, move ahead and just keep changing the number as I go by. And same thing I'm going to do with the size, just keep changing the value over and over and same thing with the complexity. But for the evolution, I'm going to set just two keyframes like I did for the dissolve effect. So I'm going to set the first keyframe here, move to the end and set in another keyframe and I'm just going to set it one times five something like that but you can use any value you can make this to be more intense by using higher values for the size and the amount depending on what you want to go for just play around with all of these effects and you'll see what you can come up with for the next animation preset we are going to be using the magnify effect to achieve these so you go to the effects panel and you add in the magnify effect to the adjustment layer then starting with the shape property we are going to change this to square and then for the size, we are just going to increase this like a lot so that it affects the entire text. So something around this will be okay so that any text that you add, it will work perfectly with it. And using the same concept that we used to animate the other animation presets, we are going to animate the magnification property. So set in the first keyframe for this and move ahead. Set in the second keyframe, just reduce this to about 110. One thing you should keep in mind is that with this magnification effect, it's preferable that you increase the value from 100 upward, not below 100. 
So I'm going to do that throughout the entire adjustment layer. After doing this correctly, you should have something similar to this. The next animation preset is known as the offset horizontal and we are going to be using the offset effect to achieve this. Again, I will select my adjustment layer, search offset, then add this to the adjustment layer. Now this is pretty easy to do, so what I'm going to do is set in the first keyframe for this, move ahead. This is the horizontal value and this is the vertical value. So I'm going to move this slightly like so, move ahead, set in another keyframe by moving this to the left. And I'll keep doing this throughout the entire adjustment layer. Finally, I'll be giving you a bonus animation preset, which is using the same concept and the same effect, but this time around, it won't be a horizontal, but vertical. Using the same idea, what I'm going to do is, I'll select the adjustment layer, but instead of changing the horizontal value, you will keep changing the vertical value to achieve this easily. Now, let me show you how you can save this as a preset and use this in your next projects. What I'm going to do is, I'll select the adjustment layer, then right click on the effect that I've created, go to save preset, and then I'll give it a name. So I can say offset, let's say edge for horizontal. Then you can either give it a description and then hit OK. Now I'll move to the presets, open these. These are all of my custom saved presets. So I can right click on the offset edge, which is a newly saved preset. Then I go to export presets. You choose the location where you want to save it and you can give it a name. Let's just maintain the same name and hit on save. And to import this, you can just right click on the presets, go to import presets, locate where you've saved it, double click it, and you'll find it under the effects panel. Using these presets can save time, elevate your content, and make your videos more captivating, ensuring your viewers to stay tuned to the end of your videos. And that's it for today's video guys. Hope you found the video useful and interesting. Do implement all what you've learned in this video and try to create even a single preset out of this video and leave your feedback down in the comment section below. And I'll be there to always read your comments and reply to them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and like the video to support the channel grow. Thanks for watching and until the next one, keep editing.